purchased these Road Shock LED 3 inch spotlights from Harbor Freight. Uh, they had a coupon, they were like normally $27.99. The coupon there, $19.99 a piece. So, 40 bucks for two lights. I wanted to go with the floods, but they only had the spotlights. So, if I don't like them, I can just probably take them back and exchange them. But I have no experience with these lights. So, let's see what they got in the box. Plug, some sort, some hardware, some literature, oh. packaged pretty well. Bracket. That's kind of neat. It has a little plug instead of just being wired. Got a little plug there with two ends. Guessing the red is positive, black's negative. Take a look at the light. Man, these things are actually pretty good quality. Feels like it's aluminum. It's pretty heavy though. I mean, I got a little magnet. Doesn't stick, so. Made from aluminum. Yeah, these things just look really good. I mean, for 20 bucks, right? That's a pretty good deal. They're cheap enough to, if anything happens to them, you can just take them back and get a new one. <clears throat> so, let's get this shindig started. Here's what we're doing. We're gonna install these LED lights on my Jeep. So things you're gonna need, some LED lights. Uh, you can purchase the wiring harness from Harbor Freight. I think it's like 30 bucks. But I had some switches and I just figured I could customize it the way I wanted to. It's probably cheaper to go that route, uh, but we're gonna just knock it out, build our own harness. Things we're gonna need, LED lights obviously, inline fuse holder, I think this is 16 gauge wire, black and red, color coded, color coordinated. We're gonna need a relay. I got some shrink tubing and some terminal connectors, got some switches. Going with these rocker switches. Sasquatch because hashtag I'm a believer. And uh, so here's my plan. I'm going to take off these brackets. I got some angle iron that I'm going to weld on. And then we'll mount the LED pods onto the angle iron. Well, I'll, I'll paint it first, obviously, and then it should look pretty good. So, first things first, start taking stuff apart. We're going to need some torque bits for those. Those. Take down a light bar. Should be pretty simple. Got my brackets taken off. See, a light bar sitting on the roof. So, try to figure out what I need to cut. Got some angle iron here. Gus the Jeep dog supervising my projects. 
I've made these little tabs out of angled iron. They're kind of too short because the pods are too big, so I just had to extend it out a little bit. So I kind of just welded it on uh, to my light bar bracket, and that should give it enough extension to keep away from the bracket and the window. And uh, I'm going to put some paint on it and throw her back on and get the lights wired. All right, so I'm gonna start the wiring process. I'm just gonna wire in my fuse and uh, my relay. Run some wire through there, through the firewall, and then up there, I'm trying to decide if I want to go along the inside to that pod and down, or just up underneath the bracket and then along the light bar and then in right here where I have that going in. I'll just try to figure it out as we go. All right, so I ran up some of this red wire in through the Jeep and you want to do here's the relay so find the number on the bottom 30 goes to power source number 87 goes to the accessory like the light so we're gonna do that and then I believe it's 85 goes to ground and 86 goes to the switch so we're gonna run it through there hook up the relay and then we'll wire in the switch and go from there. I got two rocker switches. One I'm going to use for my light bar and the other one is going to be used for the pods. So they're kind of square shapes. You kind of have to make a square hole for these. And I've, you know, I had a hole where my old switch was and I'm going to see if I can go around that so it's not uh, just a big hole in my interior. But I'm gonna use a small, smallest drill that I have, drill bit, and just drill a bunch of holes and see if I can cut it out that way. So, wish me luck. I ended up using a Dremel to help me cut those. I mean, they're not like kind of square and straight, but they're in there real good, they're not coming out. Two lights, switches. So, let's uh, do some more wiring. All right, back to the light install. So, basically what happened was, is the switch that I had bought didn't really work right. And so I had to order a new one, wait for that to come. And then it was kind of dark, so I just kind of threw it all together. So where I left off was, is I had all the, the wiring in, basically. I ran, just pop open the hood here. So I've ran all of my wire on top of there. Got my relay. So what you do with the relay is you have power from positive into 30, number 30 on the relay. And then from there, I can't even remember what number it is, and that, that goes out through the firewall, down inside, and that goes straight to the lights. And then you ground the lights out, and then you run another wire with power through, down through the firewall into the switch. And then the other end of the switch comes back into the relay. And then you ground out the relay. Here's my switches. They have they're, they got a power on all the time for this light. And then my, when they turn on, they light up. So I got the has I got the uh, Sasquatch light. Hashtag I'm a believer. Yeah, I'm just kidding. And then I found this really cool Star Wars one. It lights up. Darth Vader helmet. 
dark side lights. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm a fan of Star Wars. And so this is what they look like with them on. Look pretty good. Drop the hood down. One thing I didn't take into consideration when I was making this was the angle of the, you know, the windshield. And I took a piece of angle iron and I just welded it on this bracket right here. And I didn't realize how steep it was. And these these lights are tipped forward as much as they can. And they're still aimed pretty high, so I have to find another way to figure that out. Bring them down just a hair. I think I might heat them up, bend them down. Anyways, it turned out pretty good. Yeah, they were on sale for 19 bucks a piece, two of them, $40. And then I had to buy a new switch and then a relay. Uh, 40 bucks, that's probably about $55 worth of uh, parts. I had the wire, I had the connectors, so I just threw it together myself. I'm happy with the way it turned out, other than the fact that the angle of the light but I think they look pretty good, pretty bright. Mm -hmm.